Hello, my friends. We are here with an ink journal ink flight. I'm trying to do this without showing my address because I didn't cover it up. Look, ink journal has pre-printed pre-printed boxes. You can't see this. I can't really move this up any further because of how I have everything set up. That's so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna rip this open. I didn't even like slice it open first. Usually, I at least do that. I didn't even do that. I don't even have scissors. Oh wait, yes I do. So you notice a little lighting situation happening here. Um, this actually happened in the video I just recorded that you will see tomorrow because I'm gonna post this one first. Look, 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 look. Ink flight. I wish I could show this. I'll take a picture. But it's branded. The boxes are branded. Okay, so I don't know what's in it. I'm judging by the size of the box. Hold on, I'm gonna move this. We're gonna have a switch in lighting real fast. I'm gonna move this up. Oop, we're gonna move this up. Hopefully you could see. I can't see if you could see what we're looking at, but we're looking at a box. And it's branded. So cute. All right, I'm gonna bring this down so I can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna bring our lamp over. Lighting back over. Okay, cool. So yeah, so we're trying a new lighting situation. Because, um, yeah, I couldn't see what we were doing the last time, and so I, or on the last video I was doing, and so I, I grabbed the light. The only thing is, is I don't know how long this light's gonna last because Perla has chewed the cord. Um, anyway, so yeah, so we have an ink flight. Judging by the size of the box, I think we have paper of some kind in here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, and see what we've got though. This is the February ink flight. And I can confirm, we do have some paper and we have some ink and um, yeah. All right, let's see, let's see what we've got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I'm not sharing anything with you right now. Oh, okay, yeah, this is a good one. Okay, so this is um, another Korean ink brand. I'll show you, I'll show you what we've got. We have Amidori. Let's see, we'll, we'll do the goodies. A Midori letter pad for fountain pens. I'm not sure that you could see how big this is exactly. Um, does it say what size it is? Um, I think it's 50 sheets and it says A, but I don't know what size it is. Um, if you um, read Japanese, you may know what that is. Let's see what this says. Um, since February is International Correspondence Writing Month, Inko Rimo, we included some fountain pen friendly stationery made, made in Japan by Midori. The letter pad contains 50 blank sheets, comes with some guides, and then we have blank white paper. Slide the included guide sheet under the page for smooth, neat writing experience, uh, to make your writing neat and aligned. If you can read Japanese or use the translate feature on the Google app, you'll see that the first page of the pad contains advice on how to space your letter, hand, hi, handwriting and letter etiquette. Once you've finished writing your letter, fold the completed pages into a Midori cotton envelope. These are nice envelopes, by the way. I have used them before. Um, to provide more opaci opa opacity and privacy, the envelopes are double layered. The, pr the paper is made from 20% cotton pulp to provide premium soft feel. We recommend addressing your envelopes with water resistant or waterproof ink to withstand the weather as it travels to the recipient. And we hope you fall in love aw, with this month's assortment of ink flight goodies in case you need some persuasion, the Cupid Inktopus. I don't know how this is gonna show up. We'll have to turn this light off real fast. Here's our sticker. It's an iridescent little cupid. Let me turn the light back on again. Maybe? There. This 
is illustrated by Eric E underscore bear underscore ink on Instagram. Put the sticker anywhere that needs some fountain pen love. And then Ink Flight gives their, uh, or Ink Journal gives their P.O. box. Um, if you'd like to write a letter to them before Inko Rymo. I have not, I've written one letter for Inko Rymo. I have plans to write several more, but I've only written one. Um, so yeah, so these are amazing goodies. I've used... I haven't used the Midori letter pad, but I've used the cotton letter pad, the paper that's made out of the, it's the same paper as these envelopes, and it's very nice. If you've watched Creepy Nibs, it's been a long time since we've seen a Creepy Nibs video, but uh, I know that Creepy Nibs loves, 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 loves the Midori cotton paper, um, which is what those envelopes are made out of. So anyway, we have, let me double check, two, four, six, we still have our seven standard inks. This is very exciting because I have was thinking about getting these inks and then haven't. So yeah, it's a new to me brand, which means I'm extra excited. Um, I'm just gonna grab a stack of cards. I'm being very vague about the brand. The brand is uh, Wearing Goal. I'm sure that I'm saying that wrong. And it's another South Korean brand. It's a stationary brand from South Korea that distills art into fountain pen ink. The color of literature interprets novels and poetry with the beauty and emotion of color. Each of these inks has depth and complexity mirrored to its namesake. I'm assuming these are maybe author's names? Um, and maybe the color names are title names? I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up and I obviously haven't done that because we're just watching mink. But these Wrangle inks are very pretty. You've seen them all over Instagram, I'm sure. I'm very excited to see what we've got. So we have, we're gonna put them in order of the paper. Ooh, that looks like it's a pretty pink. And that looks like it's like a bluish purpley gray. Um, Mason's Song illustrates the color of lonely granite with a warm red gray gradient. Then we have Flowers on the Way, which is this. The Flowers on the Way portrays the spring season with a toned down pink base color with bluish undertones. We might have to swatch these on some Tomoe River paper too. Kyung Hee, I'm sure that I'm saying that wrong, um, it captures the bright orange and brown hues of golden afternoon sunlight. Then we have The Mind. This multi-chromatic ink has pastel violet base that reveals yellow as it dries. <laughs> then we have Architecture Infinite Cube, oh, which is this one, grab the right one. The saturated, saturated warm brown ink has an exciting green sheen. We love browns with green sheens. I'm just realizing I don't really have a place to put dried swatches right now. Um, Taxidermy Genius. This wine violet ink shades nicely with the green sheen. Shooting at the moon. This ink expresses the lunar halo in the night sky with a G deep green black hue. That should be interesting. Excitement! Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna do a little swatch and tell my river paper. I have my uh, A6, A5, or A6 Hobonichi. And I did some stuff on the previous page, so we'll just go ahead. Since I haven't used, I haven't used this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches on this page right here. And uh, we will see how that goes. As always, I'm using um, the coloring cards. Um, this is, these These last two coloring cards were um, a gift from pen friend Ramona. So uh, we just finished one and now we've opened the one, the last one that she gave us and we're working on those. And then my glass dip pen is a Moonman N6 with a glass dip nib. And then I have various paint brushes off to the side. And um, we're also gonna use the Hobonichi, like I said. So let's get going. Oh, I'm very excited, very, very, very excited. Um, yeah, all right, so we're gonna start with Mason's song. And I have a vial holder. This was from a previous ink flight. This is a little Inca Pet Octopus. Um, yeah, very excited. So this is, hopefully, I can't see where I am, so hopefully you can see. This is ink flight. Two, two, two. Oh, this is a pretty, like, brown. 
Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna spell this wrong. Wearing you. Ah, oh, this shading is amazing. I don't know if they're, it doesn't seem like they're all desaturated, but I think a lot of them are not as saturated as others. Oh, pretty. Gorgeous. There we are. If you are not a fan of like watery pale inks, I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this one, but it's, oh, it's beautiful. That's really pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> Next up we have Flowers on the Way. Make sure I'm still in frame. This is an R and an I, it doesn't look like it. Should probably dip it again. Pretty, 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 pretty. To like Korean inks. I know that um, um, obviously Colorverse is from Korea. Um, is the dominant industry also from Korea? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I like Korean inks. I'm also watching uh, I've been watching like Korean shows like if you watch Squid Game, that's Korean um, Also, I uh, have been watching Hotel de Luna And my friend that recommended those two shows to me has recommended another like zombie show to watch um, So yeah, really digging the Korean shows I have to say Ugh, I love Hotel de Luna. There's fountain pens in that show too. It's on Netflix. I think it came out in 2019. I don't know how long it's been on Netflix though. Uh, but it's, it's, it's funny. It's dark. It's cute. It's like ghosts and like the possibility of an epic love story. I don't know. I just freaking love it. It's like everything that I love in a show, I think. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely an excellent recommendation for my friend. My friend Way. You should definitely go check out my friend Way. He uh, streams on Twitch and also has music. I'll link his stuff below because he'll hate that. <laughs> Sometimes he watches the videos though. Very supportive. Very wonderful friend. Um, yeah. But yeah, Korean inks. Oh, this this ink looks. This inks look ink looks like I'm not gonna like it at all. But that is really interesting. I don't know why I have a hair like stuck to my fingernail although don't look at my fingernails because I bite them and they're terrible um yes so we have ink flight I'm 
This is like a weird color. I feel like this is one of those colors that people will either love or hate. I think it's interesting, but I don't know like... I'm not hitting the sweet spots and it's driving me nuts. I don't know how I would feel about this. I don't know what pen, what pen would I put this in? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Ooh, maybe the Twisby Orange? I don't know. Or that new Twisby Swipe Salmon? I don't think it's like a match, but... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't ordered that one. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Like I want to. I really like the sw swipe pen. I'm all over the place. Just ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is, this is wild. This is a wild ink color. I can't like tell what its deal is. It's like saturated, but but I don't know. It's an interesting. It's an interesting ink. I'm not sure I feel about this one. It looks like it has excellent shading. Or that it has the potential for excellent shading. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be one, this particular color is going to be one you either love or you hate. Let's uh, this one again. Next up we have the Mind. Which is this one that is multichromatic. Looks violet, like a violet gray in the, in the vial. Definitely a color that's up my alley. This seems like it flows really nicely off the nib. Maybe I just got enough on the nib, who knows. I like that one a whole lot. Seems like it's kind of a dry ink when I was painting it on the card at least. An ink that's up my alley. I like this a lot. Next up we have Architecture Infinite Cube. Okay, so it looks blue here. It looks purple here. And it's still drying on the Tomoe River paper, so I don't know what it looks like there yet. This is supposed to be a warm, saturated brown ink with an Exciting green sheen. Looks like it's kind of a reddish brown, maybe? Oh, 
Architecture Infinite Cube. Pretty brown. I like the base color. Let's see what it looks like when it dries. Pretty. I've missed some spots, but we're gonna pretend I don't care about that. Spoiler alert, I do care about that, but I'm not gonna fix it. Next up we have Taxidermy Genius. That is a color name if I have ever heard of it. This is the one that's supposed to be a wine violet ink that shades nicely with a green sheen. I hate when the dip pen is not like I hate when I'm getting not getting the sweet spot on the dip pen. Let me know how you like this lighting. Again, I might have to go find another like AC adapter um, because Pearl having chewed through this one is probably a safety hazard. Um, but yeah, if you like the way this looks, let me know and I can see about doing that and making it more a more permanent, um, a more permanent fixture of the channel. It's helpful because this, this lighting is terrible. It's too late in the day. Pretty. This one reminds me <coughs> of that Diamine Raspberry Rose or like that Umi Murasaki that I like so much. I'll put a little more on there. It's like in that same sort of family. Definitely one that I feel like I would like. Oops, oops. Oh no. I just lost the cap. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. No prone sighting today. She's sleeping. She's gotten her attention for the day. So she wants nothing to do with me now. And last but most certainly not least, we have Shooting at the Moon, which just says this ink expresses the lunar halo in the night sky with a deep green black hue. So I don't know. Looks like it's, a, I guess it's a green, a green black. It's very, very dark. I kind of see where they're going now that I see the color on the cap. I see sort of what they mean by that. It makes sense. I liked it this way too far.
pretty. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry and then we'll come back and I will show you the dried swatches and also the Tomoe River paper. Hello everybody, we have our dried swatches now. We have Mason Song, which is this very pretty like light brown. Reminds me of that Mont Blanc ink. I can't remember what it is. Something like spider web or something? Or is that one gray? Oyster? Something? Crap. I can't remember. It reminds me of a Mont Blanc ink. It's very pretty. Then we have flowers on the way. Um, again, the, um, the, uh, Description of this one was illustrates the color of lonely granite with the warm red gray gradient. I could see red gray in here. Um, this one was portrays the spring season with a toned down pink base color with bluish undertones. Can definitely see that, and you'll definitely see that in the Tomoe River, River paper. Then we have Kyunghee, but I'm sure that I'm saying incorrectly and putting the emphasis on all the wrong places so i probably like sworn in korean didn't know it um captures the bright orange and brown hues of golden afternoon sunlight um yeah i can see we've got some of the orange mostly it's mostly like an orangey brown in my opinion um then we have the mind let me make sure you can still see that okay we have the mind which is a multi-chromatic ink that has a pastel violet base that reveals yellow as it dries so much see the yellow it almost looks kind of bluish on this this paper um per, i don't really see it on the tumble river paper either but um it's kind of shadowy and dark over that over there so it might not be showing up very well we'll see though we'll bring that out into light then we have architecture infinite cube which is the saturated warm brown ink that has an exciting green sheen i don't see it's not like overpowering you can kind of see it bring the light over a little bit more um you can kind of see it like as a halo um i could see it as a line here where i painted down and you can see it a halo around the scribble um i have a feeling this will show up a lot if you have like a pretty wet nib or a broad nib um i think it'll show up more but this is a really pretty like red brown um let's see then we have taxidermy genius which is this uh rose color with a green sheen. Again, it's not overpowering. It's more of like a halo around areas where there's a lot more ink. Um, it reminds me a whole lot of that, uh, is it raspberry rose from the ink vent and the Tatcha Ume Murasaki. Ume Murasaki, I feel like a little dirtier than this one is, but that's like, the, it's the same sort of color family. Um, I really like, I like this one a whole lot. And then you have shooting at the moon, which um, this description it says the ink expresses a lunar the lunar halo in the night sky with a deep green and black hue definitely a greenish black I'm not sure how it's translating to camera kind of looks like there's a haze of black over it um, it looks a little more like sheen on the Tomoe River paper so I'm not sure what it would look like straight out of a pen um, the text obviously seems to look just black but um, it's a very interesting ink in the swatch. So let's go ahead and look at our Tomoe River paper swatches. Um, I'm trying to adjust the light. I can't tell like what it looks like for you. So here's what these look like. I'm not sure if that changes the lighting at all or changes how you can see it. Um, but then we have the Tomoe River paper. We have that Mason song. So it compares the card versus Tomoe River paper. Then we have flowers on the way. You definitely see the blue, the blue coming out in that. I wonder what this looks like in a pen. Um, then we have the uh, Kyung Hee, which looks more orange on the Tomoe River paper, but this, I used one of the brushes that puts down a lot of ink, so it's not, um, it's not showing off a lot of like shading or anything that would come with it. The Mind looks blue i can see sort of where it's saying like maybe yellow is coming out in some of these little sections but it doesn't really look like yellow yellow um i can kind of see like here you really have to look at it i think coming out of a pen it's not going to be as obvious um maybe if you use it on the right paper it will um then we have this architecture infinite cube again a little bit of that she sheen i'm not sure i can't zoom in because of the way the light is right now 
Here, let me see. Can I zoom in? Can I try to zoom in? There we go. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, you can see, oh, well, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's some, um, there's some of that sheen around the edges here. Again, it's around the edges around where a lot of the ink pooled, um, but it's not overpowering. Then we have Taxidermy Genius, sort of the same thing. It looks a little more purple right here, but it's one of those sort of colors that makes me think of potpourri, like Sailor 531, or is it one of the two 30-somethings um, is a similar color to this. It really makes me think of Ume Murasaki, but it's not as dirty. And also um, that Raspberry Rose from Inkvent. And then we have um, Shooting at the Moon. The sheen on this one, I think it's more apparent on the Tomoe River paper, at least in person. I'm not sure it's how it's translating on camera. Um, but, yeah. And then on the back, we have some bleed through. A little bit. But again, I've added this with a paintbrush. We haven't written with it on the Tomoe River paper. Um, I don't know how much a bleed through it will be excuse me straight out of a pen but yeah that's these are these are inks and let me get our goodies so we can see those again Oops. drop the sticker we have our midori letter pad which i think is a, a bigger than a5 a i don't remember the oh is there Ooh, one thing i just noticed is it's half cream and a half white so you have cream paper and white paper. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, that's very cool. Um, and then um, a package of these um, Midori cotton envelopes. I think we have eight. One, two. I think there's eight in the package. It says eight here, so I'm going to see if that's what that means. One, two. I can't count without staring at those really well. And we have our sticker, which is probably not showing up very well on the camera. And then we have our swatches. And our inks. I, yeah, really enjoyed this ink vent, or ink flight. Oh my gosh, now I'm saying it backwards. This is a great ink, ink of flight, a, a brand I haven't tried before, which is always exciting for me because I have been in the past tending to buy a lot of ink. But like I said, I haven't been buying a lot of stuff. So um, a lot of the things, these things are going to be new to me, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get, I really want to try this one in a pen, these two in particular. Um, like I said, this reminds me of stuff that I already have. This might, I think this will just look black out of a pen. Um, this also reminds me of um, some of those Colorverse um, Constellation ones. Um, but yeah, I think these will be really nice in pens. I'm really excited to try those at some point. Um, yeah, so thank you again, Ink Journal, for another lovely ink flight. I have no idea if if this box is still in stock. I will um, check it out and let you know in the description box if you can still get some um, at, the, at the time of my posting the video. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you being here and taking the chance to watch my videos. Um, I know that I ramble on a lot. That's not for everybody, but a lot of you seem to enjoy yourselves when you're here. So thank you so much for, for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you got something out of seeing these inks. Um, if you haven't gotten the box, are you planning on trying to get one? Um, or did you get the box and you're really excited about it? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you didn't get the ink flight and can't get the ink flight for some reason, are you looking at, for these inks? I know that I've seen them at at least on the website at Van Ness. I don't know if they're in stock yet, but I know that I've seen them on the website because um, I've thought about getting some. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that they're available for sale elsewhere on the internet. I just happen to have been on Van Ness most recently. So yeah, thank you again, once again, Ink Journal for another fun ink flight. I love ink flight. I say this every time. It's my favorite video to do every month. And uh, yeah, I... I just love getting the goodies, the surprises in the mail. Um, it's super fun. So I, I just love this video. And um, yeah, thank you so very much for watching. And I have to say, this is not my two year anniversary on YouTube, but my very first video was 
I believe the February ink flight video. Um, I posted it uh, back in February. February 12th is my YouTube anniversary. We'll be, we'll be celebrating two years. I, yeah, I don't know if we'll do anything special. I still have a giveaway that I want to do, but I still haven't taken the time to put that all together. So yeah, so just thank you. If you've been here the whole time, I really appreciate it. If you've just found me, I really appreciate it. No matter how long you've been here, your support and comments and just you mean the world to me whether we're friends or I know you or not if you've taken any time to watch this video and if you're hearing this even if you're not hearing this I just hope that you know um that I think you're awesome and yeah thank you so much for being here again another rambly outro from your friend Manda <laughs> all right I'm gonna let you go now thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon take care love you bye